John Bollinger invented Bollinger Bands in the 1980s to track market volatility while trading equities on the stock market. Beginning and advanced traders can also use this technical indicator to trade ranging markets quite effectively. Let's see how. Let's start with, say, an hourly chart on cable. Our default is still called naked as it has no indicators, just candles. Click on the indicators list, trend and Bollinger Bands. A dialog box appears. Bollinger Bands are made of three components, a 20 period moving average, an upper band at two standard deviations, and a lower band at minus two standard deviations. Standard deviation is a common mathematical formula and it looks like this. For most, or in fact all cases, these settings are fine and I would highly recommend that you do not change them, except maybe the color. Click OK. So here we have an upper Bollinger Band, a 20 period moving average, and a lower Bollinger Band. There are a few situations where a beginning trader may not want to use this indicator. This is one of them. Here we have a series of trending markets almost one after the other. A simple strategy using Bollinger Bands includes looking for ranging markets. Having said that, one of the other uses of Bollinger Bands is to identify the Bollinger Squeeze. These constrictions are caused by low volatility in price action. The premise is that low volatility can often precede high volatility. In these cases, it turned out to be true. Using Bollinger Bands to trade a ranging market such as this one on Dollar Swiss 15 minute chart might look simple. A simple strategy might include trading a reversal once a candle's wick touches an upper or lower Bollinger Band. Or do we wait for a second confirmation candle? Or do we trade only when a candle closes beyond the band? In this case, trading the Asian session, we may have just broken even, so we might need some help. Bollinger Bands are often used with an oscillator. Return to your indicators list and select Oscillators and Stochastic Oscillator. Change No Settings and click OK. We will delve into these oscillators in our next video, but now we can spot signals from our Bollinger Bands which were not confirmed by the oscillator. Basically, if we had followed our Bollinger Bands and these candles, we would not have produced profitable trades. Using an oscillator to confirm a reversal would have worked here and would have had us waiting here while a better opportunity was about to present itself. We will have more about Bollinger Bands and oscillators in our education series. To review in this lesson we covered setting up Bollinger Bands, the structure of Bollinger Bands, and using Bollinger Bands with an oscillator. In the next lesson we will look at oscillators.